Um, alright, so I might need you guys' help a little bit on this, because I've never done this before. I'm gonna go ahead and snooze, um, the ad. But, uh, one of the things that we need to do is make everything grayscale, so that I don't know what colors I'm choosing. Um, does this show up as grayscale for you all? Because it does for me. But I'm recording so that I can make an extra video for YouTube as well. Okay, it doesn't. Okay, so I'm going to have to do something else then. Let me check here. A few moments later. There we go. Does that show up as grayscale for you all? Okay, cool. So I'm just going to have to do it this way. Um, until we finish this, and then I will switch back to my normal view, my, my normal way of capturing the game. Amazing! So, let's go ahead and get started with Amaya's Young Adult Makeover, because this is what I have to do, it's part of the generation. It's either you, um, do it grayscale, or you randomize the whole outfit, and I think I'd have better luck putting together something presentable. <laughs> if I do it this way. I'm not entirely- I feel like she's very... As far as, like, her style goes, she's very, like, casual. She's always been kind of casual. <laughs> right? It's gonna be fun, but it's gonna be something. It's gonna be fun, just, you know, interesting. Everything is grayscale. <laughs> this kind of messes up with my color coordination, because I like my color-coordinated sims. It's scary. <laughs> it's really scary. It would look worse in Build By, you're right. I have a lot more of a limited selection in Build By, though, because I got rid of all of my... Um, I got rid of all of my uh, Build By CC. Well, most of them, anyway. I have kept, like, a few things. I'm trying just to not go with just the default thing. Because I'm scared. The one thing I did actually um, set up was her hair. Because I don't have to randomize her hair at all. Um, and also, I have a wedding outfit prepared for her. For when Lottie gets married. Because Lottie got engaged last stream. I almost feel like I'm cheating a little bit just by... Okay, so this is where I'm not going to know anything about what I'm doing. This is going to... I'm a little worried about putting on makeup like that. I already don't know what I'm doing <laughs> as far as makeup. I can at least feel confident about this this um, eyeliner. I can't even see what, what these look like. <laughs> I can't see what any of this looks like. This is so fun. This is so fun and so scary. <laughs> fun and scary. You know what, that's, yeah, I see that. Okay, so we're not touching this outfit here because this is meant for the wedding. I'll show that off in color. But this, her normal. Um, my favorite music genre, I don't, I kind of, I'm kind of in the ballpark of, I like what I like. Um, I do, it's easier to say what I don't like. <laughs> Because I'm just kind of open when it comes to most music. I definitely really love lo-fi. Um, I love 90s pop. I love 1950s music. Um, I grew up on like 1950s music, so. Favorite song. I don't know if I really have a favorite song. I mean, there's not, like, any one song that I love so much that I would place it above all others. I know that's kind of a not very satisfying answer. <laughs> um, I also listened... I used to listen to a ton of Vocaloid, and I still do sometimes. Just, I haven't been into a lot of the newer stuff. Um, but I am a... American Horror Show by Snow Eye, but it will change eventually. Yeah, that, that's my problem. I, If I have something that I identify as a favorite, it'll end up becoming 
replaced by something else <laughs> eventually. So I can't really say for sure that I have any definitive favorite. As far as like my favorite Vocaloid song though, I can answer that. Um, it's Tell Your World. I want to play Project Diva on here on stream again sometime. It's fun. Plus my Switch runs it a lot better now. Massive Baby Rexa fan. I like the one song I heard when uh, when she uh, was put into The Sims for the Sim sessions. Hmm. You know what? Let's try this. This looks fun. I am cheating a tiny bit. Because I know that one is a... Sabotage, that's the one, yeah. It looks great in black and white. Yeah, I actually added that song to my Spotify. To my uh, playlist that I can listen on, on my own. Because it's... Uh, I don't know how to do the thing where you listen on stream without it getting copyright struck. And I'm actually kind of okay with just sticking to the to the free to use stuff. Yeah, if, if I don't want to listen to lyrics, I usually just put on some lo-fi. If I want to listen to lyrics, I have actually like okay, so this is going to sound a little I don't know if any of you know about this, but um one of my favorite games is Eternal Sonata. And that's all about Frederick Chopin's music and his life. It's really good. Mm, do I want this? Descendants has good music, yeah. I've watched that movie once or twice, maybe maybe twice. Yeah, it's really good. the The battle system is a little strange. Um, it takes some time getting used to it, but it's a really good game very beautiful game yeah um i would recommend if you ever did try to play it um the ps3 version is the best one there was a there was an xbox 360 version um as well and it was the first version but uh the ps3 version adds a lot more Oh yeah, I don't think I could play Stray. I love the I love the whole idea of it, but anytime I see an animal getting hurt, I'm just really upset about it. Like I was watching um one of my mods star, I was watching her play Stray when it came out. And um definitely a game that I don't think I could play myself. Oh, this is so scary. Every time, every time the kitty fell I was just like, <gasps> not the kitty. Oh god, this is going to be a disaster. Fashion. <laughs> this is going to be so scary. I'm trying not to go with things that I trust. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. I have four cats, but I also really love dogs. I love animals just in general. I used to be afraid of big dogs, and then my former stepmother, when we met her, she had a Rottweiler who was just the sweetest baby angel. Like, she was protective, but she was a very sweet dog. And, um, she helped me get over my fear of the large dogs, and now I'm more scared of small dogs. But, um,. I still love puppy. I love doggo. I have a soft spot in my heart for Rottweilers and pit bulls and all of the misunderstood doggos. We mostly had cats. Like we had, um, yeah, a lot of big dogs are just really scaredy cats. They're so funny. Um, Actually, I think I kind of want this instead. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with that. But yeah, we um, when I was little, the first dog we had was a beagle named Sponge. My brother, you, there was this big old plushie. Um. 
There was this big old um, plushy dog that my brother, when he was little, used to ride around and he would go, Let's go, Sponge! <laughs> um, <laughs> and so when mom surprised us with a, with a puppy, his name was immediately Sponge, because she thought it was hilarious. And it was, let's be real. Aww. Frenchies are cute. I just love animals. Animals are great. Man, she got some junk in her trunk. Some junk in your trunk. Definitely has some junk in that trunk. We won't be doing- I don't usually do makeup for workout, because why would you want to wear makeup for a workout? What you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk inside your trunk. I'ma get, 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 get you drunk. Get you enough junk off my humps. My humps, my humps. My hump, my hump, my hump. <laughs> that song is wild. I think I want to use those. They're so cute. You know, I kind of see... Oh, her neck is too thick. There's a Nidorino in the chat, if anybody wants um, a Nidorino. Nidorino. You know, maybe I will... probably do that. I need to give her the fat cat slippers. Because the fat cat slippers are the best. I don't care what anyone says. The fat cat slippers are, are king. I listen to this playlist so often that I've picked up on a lot of uh, a lot of the lyrics. I really like this new this new dress from the Crystal Creations kit. So pretty. Where's the Crystal Creations one? Oh, is it not showing? It does. Does it not show up for party? You think that's when you'd want to wear something like that? Is it? In, it's not in leggings, is it? I didn't think it would be. Huh. Interesting. Well, I like those socks, so... You know, the scary part about this is I have to just go with whatever... Whatever... Whatever happens here. Welcome back. This is still really scary. Um, yeah. Well, I guess... Okay, so the person who created the challenge is very much a fan of Follow Your Heart Fire. Um... So if I don't like it, I could change it. I could even completely disregard this rule, but I, I kind of want to do it just because it's fun. Like, if this wouldn't be fun for me, I wouldn't do it. So if I don't like something, I could change it. But I think it's more fun if we just say she has a crazy sense of style. Plus, you know, Amaya is destined to be kind of chaotic. So, yeah, her entire generation so far has been super chaotic. And I kind of want to keep going with that. It'd be hilarious if she were just chaotic the whole way through. Her parents tried to raise her right. The fun thing is she was chaotic just autonomously. Like, I have added to it since then, but she just came out came out swinging and was like, Hello, I'm Chaos. Exactly. I'm glad that she only needs to have two kids this, this gen, though. Because um, five kids last gen was a lot. I mean, we had lots of air options, but um, it was a lot. <laughs> Amaya's really pretty, too, so I'm happy that she was chosen as our heir. Because, um... We let- I let the, uh, community choose our heir for this series. When I started, when we were when we were choosing Gen 2, I didn't have a lot of people watching me, so, um, Jay and I just sort of went, okay, we like Sasha. Oh yeah, for sure. I am definitely a crazy person. I will not deny that one bit. I'm trying to avoid, like, my safe options. 
because I use there's a lot of these that I use as safe options. And of course that means I know what I'm choosing. It's really hard not to choose my safe options. I love that this song is just such a big fuck you song. It makes me so happy. Sometimes you just need a little bit of fuck you. Sometimes you just need a good fuck you song, you know? <laughs> We've been it was really funny because we, we were listening to this in the car one day and my sister was just like, this song does not feel like it should be this, <laughs> this, um, I wouldn't, I don't know what the word was, um, it wasn't sadistic. This song feels way too calm for the, for the, for the song content, basically, you know, it's like, yeah, I love it. I love it for that reason. Alright, we're almost done. I'm only gonna do one outfit because I want to... I'ma say no more often. Yeah. Um, I think, uh... Sorry Not Sorry by Demi Lovato is one of my favorites. As far as fuck you songs. It is so amazingly petty and I love it. Sometimes you just need to have a nice little petty session. Yeah. I love that song. I discovered it actually um, through The Masked Singer. I think I'm gonna go with the standard for that one. Does that have a little knife? Is there a little knife necklace? Oh, there's a whisk necklace. That doesn't do... That doesn't really do anything, though. No, I think I'm, if I'm gonna go with the, with the stabby stabbies, I'm gonna... Just stick with the stabby stabbies. This is very nice. I'm not sure I want to stick with it though. I love the stabby stabbies. Well, she's a she's more of a thief than a murderer, but <laughs> we do have a we do have an evil chicken and we use it to murder Sims, so I'm also required now to play Battle on the Big Bridge whenever Enki Dude does a chicken murder. I'm kinda hoping we get a chicken murder. I don't have enough stabby. Plum bobs are stabby, right? Yeah, I'll just go with the stabby plum bob. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get her a beanie, I think. Ooh, that's so cute. I love this hat. Can be like kryptonite, yeah. Yeah, I, I can see that. I love this hat. It makes me happy. I'm pretty sure someone's drawn like a comic or something of a uh, a plum bob accidentally doing a murder or intentionally doing a murder, who knows. Pretty sure someone's done art of that. <laughs> I will have to I'll have to seek it out again. So I'm pretty sure someone has done something with that, but I I might be going crazy. That's entirely possible. This is a safe option. I kind of want to go with this. This is not a safe. Ooh, no. It doesn't really work very well, does it? We can go with a goth kit. Goth kit sneakers. Did you get nails? Yes, you did. Uh, let's go with this one. Do I know what color this is? Absolutely not. Should I go with sparkles? Let's do sparkles. Sparkles! And... Um, uh, maybe some earrings and then we're good. I don't have extreme violence in. Um... I could potentially put it in for the criminal generation though. But, you know, who knows when that will be. Who knows when that will be, because, um, we randomize everything in here, so it, we could randomize next gen as criminal, or we could randomize five gens from now as criminal. Yeah, I, I did start playing, like, um, Dragon Age 2 on this channel, but it's so depressing, and I've had a lot of depression happening lately. 
Um, and this this family makes me happy. So <laughs> I've been playing more of the pains. The chaos of this of this family is just so good. Something always happens that just lifts my spirits. Oh, you're a control freak in Sims 4? I like randomizing things, um, because I feel like it's more interesting for me, but I can understand the comfort of wanting to control everything. For me, controlling literally everything is kind of, um, kind of exhausting for me. I do plan out, yeah, I do plan out, um, storylines for my Sims on my YouTube channels, but, um, other than that, I kind of let things just happen. Because I think that that's fun. But it's not fun for everybody, so... The nice thing about The Sims is that you can play the game however the hell you want. And if anyone tries to tell you otherwise, they're wrong. Oh hey, there's more stabbies! Look at the stabby! Okay, no, I'm going to go back to the other. Alright, we ready? I'm not going to do any other outfits because this is going to take up a lot of time. We've already gone almost an hour for this. Alright, guys. Three, two, one. Okay. 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 You know, I'm actually not hating this. The colors actually kind of go together. I'm surprised I managed to match the jewels. When it's over. Formal wear. Not a fan of the eyeshadow. But the shoes, <laughs> the shoes, I, I was, I don't know, I maybe I played it a bit too safe, but I don't know. Okay, so just so I said, just since I said I would show you, this is the wedding look. She is going to be the flower pal for her, for her sibling's wedding. Huh. I mean, the nail polish doesn't match, but it doesn't necessarily need to match. I'm kind of shocked. <laughs> okay, this is the chaos. Here's the chaos. Look at that. She looks like a freaking clown. Look at this! I mean, the eyeshadow matches this. The blush is way too intense. This is surprisingly well coordinated. Well, she's a style influencer. Doesn't necessarily mean she has to be good at makeup. I forgot to add um, nails on here, so I'm just going to give her this. Because why not? I'm surprised at how well this works. Like, most of these are actually working. I didn't put makeup on for every everything, because I feel, I kind of get the feeling that she doesn't really do makeup unless it's like party or formal. So I did put it on for every day. Huh. I don't know how I manage this. Guys, did I win? Did I just win the challenge? Did I even put on lipstick for you? I didn't. Okay. I'll take it. I will take it.
Okay. Nice. Well, there's Amaya.